we kind of struggled. I, For Alex Dominguez, here, owner of Habali in Fells Point, it still seems thing. surreal. The former Associated Press reporter right. finding so himself on the other side of the story. The Sunday the night at around 8.30, after dinner with a friend, he was walking to a nearby 7-Eleven for some ice for his business when it happened. And I felt this bump in the head like someone had run up from behind me. And at first I thought, oh, maybe someone's joking with me, you know, and they just didn't realize how hard they hit me because it, it hurt. At the corner of Shakespeare and Bond Streets, a man Dominguez believed to be homeless attacked him. He thought he was being punched, but he would soon realize it was far more serious than that. And then I, so then I pushed him away and I went to hit him away and I said, what's wrong with you? And I, I think I, I swung on him again and tried to push him away. And then I realized he had a knife. Dominguez finally got the knife away and pinned the man down, hoping to hold him until police got there. But then a man walking by snapped him into reality. A bystander comes up and says, you, you got to let him go. You're bleeding. You're, you're going to bleed to death. Let him go. Stop struggling. And then I realized that I was just covered with blood. Dominguez had been stabbed multiple times in the legs, back and here on his face. He was taken to the hospital and despite losing a lot of blood, is expected to make a full recovery. He's just hoping whomever did this is caught soon. This is a, I've been here since 89. This is a super safe area. This was just a, a isolated random incident of a mentally ill person who probably saw me as an easy target. And Baltimore City Police tell us that this is still a very active investigation and so far no arrests have been made. They're asking anyone who might have information on this case to call 911 immediately. We're live in Fells Point tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WVAL TV 11 News.